Hi guys, it's Kobe here. I'm actually doing a, this quick video to respond to a question I was asked about the weight transform in the newer versions ever since um, Field came into Cinema 4D, which is I think R20 Airports, the weight transform and the way it works. So in, um, in R19 now, and in R19, the way weight transform used to work is, let me actually come in here. So I have clone a clone object, cloning some cubes here. So I'll come in and I'll actually add random plane effector and you can see it's moving it upwards uh, 100 centimeters uh, centimeters upwards right and there was a way that you could use the value um the weight value of the weight of the clones to randomly move it upwards right so to do that let me actually come to select the come to the transform of the clone and you can see the display we have weight if i uh, check the weight you can see everything is set to um red right but there is a way we could randomize it so i can use the random effector come to random effector effector and i'll choose random and i'll come to the parameters i will check the position everything is back to normal but when i increase the weight you can see immediately the colors begins to um, change so there are some which is yellow some are orange and red like different uh, shades from red to yellow and yellow being i think 100 percent and red is zero percent so with this if i should come to the cloner effector go to effectors and now move the random on top of the clones you can see now there is a bit of randomness in it right and now the plane is going up but it's not not everything is moving like it used to so if i uncheck the random you can see the way it works right so if i should come in here the fall off and i'll probably use a um, linear fall off i'll set it to x you can see there's a bit of randomness in it let me actually take off the weighting here so you can see there's a bit of randomness in it now it doesn't move it wouldn't move linearly if i uncheck the random it wouldn't move linearly like that it gives it random randomness right so this used to be how you you would do something like this in r19 and the lower versions by r20 and upwards I'll go ahead. So I have R25. This is R25. But this thing also, I think, is in R20 as well because it started, I think, when fields came. So the same thing. I'll come in here and I'll create my MoGraph effector plane. And like we know, I can move it up like a bit more. And now I'll do the same thing. Select the clone, come to its um, MoGraph effector, and I'll use the random. I don't want to affect the position. Let's first of all check the weight of the um, clones. You can see it's also red like it used it was in the R19. Now, so if I come to the randomness and instead of position, I now increase the weight. You can see now the same thing. There's random, some are yellow, orange, and red. So shades of red to ye yellow, basically. So then it means if I should come in here and I put the random on top, it should affect the plane randomly but you can see nothing happened and that's because in in here it works differently so for us to actually get the plane to be affected by the weight the value of the weight it means we select the plane come to its fields and now we drag in the cloner objects in here it will give us this option to choose spline point or of the MoGraph object so we say MoGraph object and I can see the same thing is happening. Now it's randomly affecting it like it did in like in R19. So if we want to add a um, let's say linear field to it, so I'll come to I'll choose um linear to it, and now this time I actually put the cloner on top of it, and now say overlay, right? And now I can see we have the same thing that we had in R19. So if I should move it let me actually open and see there is a bit of randomness and it doesn't move linearly like it, it was like without the random so if i now uncheck the randomness you can see it works perfectly everything works perfect but if i bring it in here you can see it gives us a bit of randomness so that's how you do it in now if you want to use the weight but honestly speaking, it's not even necessary for you to, if you want to do it, there's a way that you can actually use the random in um, random field within the plane um, 
field here. So instead of using the value of the clone, you can simply come in here and use, let's say, random field or even um, there is a um, shader here, which you can use the noise shader as well. And now I can overlay this one as well. So if I can change from max to overlay, you can see we have a bit of randomness in here. It might not be the same, but you can play around with it to get the same feel that you want in uh, in the newer versions as well. So this is how you do something like this in the newer versions. But if you want to do it in the old way, that's also how you do it. So this is a quick um, answer to your question I was asked. And I, I, I hope uh, I, I explain it very clearly. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.